I'm Alistair Davis, I work at the Zoological Society of London and I work in the Conservation Technology Unit. And I'm looking at TV white space and how it can solve conservation challenges. So I'm Louise Hartley, I work at the Zoological Society of London as the project coordinator in the Conservation Technology team. In 2013, ZSL applied for a Global Impact Award and we won half a million pounds to solve a conservation problem. We wanted to develop tiny cameras that we placed in the wild to send photos of poaching activities to rangers and law enforcers so they can stamp out poaching in Africa. Uh, we discussed TV white space uh, as a potential to increase the range of our camera system. ZSL are working with Google to develop a TV white space network in the heart of London. We're here in Camden Town and we've developed a network at the zoo itself. We're streaming live video from free enclosures to a base station on our main building. We hope to look at how TV white space can solve conservation challenges. We want to look at how we can move data quickly across vast distances and how we can deploy it in areas where the spectrum is already utilised. And that's the beauty of TV white space. And also to provide a bit of interest for the public and give them an insight into three of the zoo's favourite uh, species here. Uh, so that's the otters, that's the meerkats and the galapagos tortoise. We've developed some tiny cameras that send photos back at the moment by a satellite. TV white space can help us extend the range of those devices so we can aggregate the data from those cameras to one actual base station. Uh, so this has huge potential for remote wildlife monitoring and ultimately to help protect endangered species. The Conservation Technology Unit at the Zoological Society of London works to develop hardware and software tools to solve conservation challenges. And that's from animal tracking devices to camera alerting systems. That could be monitoring penguins in Antarctica or saving rhinos and elephants in Africa. We've just finished developing our TV white space network here in London. So trials are already taking place in Africa as we speak. We're now going to deploy it, use the cameras to learn from how we can shift data from the actual enclosures to our base station and watch live HD footage. And we're going to learn from that and try and deploy that in the wild, in Africa, over the next one to two years. We see the future of TV white space in shrinking down the size of the TV white space radios, so they are dongle or chip size. And white space is fantastic in my eyes because it fits into those slots. We can broadcast over existing spectrums, we can shift a lot of data, it's quick, and it's that distance I'm really interested in. But it has huge potential for bringing internet connectivity to rural communities. We can look at two to five blocks to range, which traditionally was very difficult to achieve. So I'm really excited to look at how those radios are going to be developed over time, how the uh, spectrum is utilised and what people are going to do with white space.